Dear students, now we are going to solve one important problem in Revenant's theorem. Here the problem is to find the current through the branch AB of the given network using Revenant's theorem. So this is the given network. In this we are going to find out the load current through this resistance 5 ohm across this AB terminals. Okay. So here we are going to use Thevenin's theorem. So in the solution part, the first step is to remove the low resistor. So here the low resistor is 5 ohm resistor. We are going to remove this load resistor. Then we can make this terminals as open circuit. So next step, we are going to find out the Thevenin's voltage across the open circuit. So that is the second step. So in the first step, we removed the low resistance and make this A and B terminals as open terminals. Next, we are going to find out the Thevenin's voltage across this open circuit. So, this Thevenin's voltage is nothing but the voltage drop across this branch which is having 3 ohm in series with J4 ohm. So, this two are in ohm. It is an inductive reactance. Okay. So, this is purely resistance. This is an inductive reactance. So, combinedly we can say it is an impedance. Do you all understand this one? So, here it is not an inductance. It is the inductive reactance. Okay. So, here we are going to find out the voltage drop across this branch. Okay. So, for that we need the current flowing through this branch. So, for that we can apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in this first loop. So, here the Kirchhoff's voltage law states that the sum of voltage rise is equal to the sum of voltage drops in the closed loop. So, here voltage rise is nothing but the voltage source 10 with an angle 0 degree. That means the value is in polar form. Okay. So, next Voltage drops are there in this 5 ohm, 3 ohm and J4 ohm. So, we can write the Kirchhoff's voltage law as 10 with an angle 0 degree and the voltage drop across this resistance 5 ohm is 5 into I plus 3 into I plus J4 into I. Do you all understand this one? So, in this closed loop, voltage rise is equal to the sum of voltage drops okay so here we can simply add the real parts so 5i plus 3i is nothing but 8i plus j4i is equal to 10 with an angle 0 degree so in the next step we are going to take this i as common one then we can move this term 8 plus j4 to this side in the denominator we can get the current i is equal to 10 with an angle 0 degree divided by 8 plus J4. So, whenever we are going to deal with complex numbers, so here in this division, we are going to convert this complex number that is rectangular form into polar form. So, in case of multiplication and division, we can use only polar form. Okay, in case of addition subtraction, we can use a rectangular form. So, the numerator is having polar form that is magnitude with the face value. Here in the denominator we are having a rectangular form that is the real value and imaginary value. So, in the next step we are going to transform this rectangular form into polar form. For that we can use calculator. So, here we can switch on the calculator. So, next we have to press this mode. You can see for complex we can simply press number 2. So, here we can select complex mode. In the calculator you can see CM PLX. Okay. So, for complex we have to simply press this mode and select number 2. Okay. After that we are going to give this a rectangular form as such. That means A plus 4 for this J term. J represents the imaginary term for that you can simply press shift and then ENG. You can see 8 plus 4i. I represents 
imaginary term we are going to convert this rectangular into polar so for polar you can simply press the shift and plus symbol so shift plus means it represents the polar form r with an angle theta then you can simply press equal to you can see the value is 8.9442718 do you understand this one so from this we can write 8.944 as a magnitude for an angle we have to simply press this shift symbol and then equal to symbol so we can see the angle symbol here in the calculator with the value 26.565 something. Okay, so here we can take that angle as 26.56 degree. Do you all understand this one? So we have to convert this rectangular form into polar form in case of division. Okay, so next we can simply divide this 10 with this value 8.944. Then we can get... 1.118 so for division we can take this magnitude as such but for this angle we can simply subtract the denominator from the numerator so 0 degree minus 26.56 degree the answer is minus 2656 degree do you all understand this one so here the current i is equal to 1.118 with an angle minus 26.56 degree ampere is a unit okay so after getting this current we are going to find out the thevenin's voltage here thevenin's voltage is the voltage stroke across this impedance do you all understand this one so thevenin's voltage is equal to i into this impedance value we can say 3 plus j4 multiplied with 1.118 with an angle minus 26.56 degree so here we are going to perform multiplication so as i told you in case of multiplication and division we can use only polar form so what we are going to do we are going to convert this rectangular form into polar form so again we can use calculator so we can take this calculator and simply we can select the mode as 2 correct then we can give this value 3 plus 4 for i we can press the shift and eng and we are going to convert this rectangular form into polar form for that simply press the shift and plus symbol you can see the rectangular is going to be converted into polar form so then we are going to press equal sign you can see the magnitude is for getting this angle we can press this shift and equal we can get the angle value 33.13 degree so next we are going to simply multiply this magnitudes and then for multiplication the angles can be added together okay so simply we can multiply these two values magnitude values we can get the thevenin's voltage is equal to 5.59 for this angle the value is 53.13 minus we are going to add these two values right so here it is minus so minus 26.56 then the answer is plus 26.56 do you all understand this one so this is the thevenin's voltage okay in the next step we are going to find out the thevenin's resistance are an equivalent resistance so it can also be known as equivalent impedance or thevenin's impedance okay so in this problem we are going to short circuit the voltage source that is very important to find out the equivalent impedance so we are going to short circuit the voltage source so then we are going to calculate the overall equivalent impedance for this circuit so here these two are in series so it can be added together so next step we can say this 5 ohm is in parallel with this combination. So it can be written like this 5 ohm in parallel with this impedance Z1 that is 3 plus J4 ohm 
and then this parallel combination is in series with this J5 ohm. So this is the equivalent impedance across this terminals A and B. Do you all understand this one? So here we can express this term as equivalent impedance is equal to 5 in parallel with 3 plus J. The series connection can be represented as plus J5. So for series we can simply add that value. Okay. 5 in parallel with this 3 plus J4 can be written like this. 5 into 3 plus J4 divided by 5 plus 3 into J4. So we can simply multiply and divide with that sum. Okay. So here we are going to simply multiply this value here. That is 15 plus J20 divided by. So here we are going to add this two value that is 8 plus J4 plus J5. So we can do either this way or we can directly multiply this value. So here we can simply multiply this 15 plus J20 divided by 8 plus J4 plus J5. Okay ma? Or else we can simply consider this as the polar form 5 with an angle 0 degree and we can convert this rectangular form into polar form. So here we can go with this term or this term. Okay. So in the next step we can simply multiply this magnitudes 5 into 5 25 0 plus 53.13 that is 53.13 in the denominator the corresponding Polar form is what? We have already calculated this value, right? So, we can simply substitute that value 8.944 with an angle 26.56 plus J5. So, simply we can divide this to magnitudes value. We can get 2.795. Here for this angle, we are going to subtract this denominator from this numerator. So, 53.13 minus 26.56. The answer is 26.56. 56 degree. So now it is in polar form. It is in rectangular form. So next we are going to convert this polar form into rectangular form. So for that again we can take the calculator and keep the mode as complex one. Then we are going to convert this polar into rectangular. For this polar into rectangular simply we can type the value 2.795 with an angle, for this angle we can simply press shift and this hyphen symbol. We can see this angle symbol here, right? So 2.795 with an angle 26.56. So no need to give degree. So we can simply press 2.795 with an angle 26.56. For angle we can press the shift and hyphen symbol, okay? Next we are going to convert this polar form into a rectangular. For that we can press the shift and minus sign. You can see A plus BI. So we are going to convert this polar into a rectangular form. So after that we can simply press equal to sign. We can get the real value 2.50 something right. So here we can take only 2.5 as a real term. For an imaginary term we can again press this shift and equal to. So here we can get the imaginary term as 1.2497. So we can write 1.25j. Do you all understand this one? Okay. This is how we have converted this polar into a rectangular form. So now we can keep this real value as such. Add this to imaginary value. So 1.25j plus j5 is nothing but 6. 0.25 J. So this is the equivalent impedance of the given circuit. So this can also be converted into its polar form. Its value is 6.73 with an angle 68.2 degree. Its unit is ohm. So the last step to find out the load current using Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So after calculating the values of the Thevenin's voltage and the Thevenin's equivalent impedance we have to draw the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. So here this VTH value is what? 5.59 with an angle 26.56 degree. That is the voltage of this Thevenin's circuit 
and your equivalent impedance value is what? 2.5 plus J 6.25 ohm. Okay, so from this we can calculate the load current. The load current is equal to Thevenin's voltage divided by the total impedance in the circuit. So EZL that is given here that is the load resistance. So EZL plus Z equivalent. So we can simply substitute the Thevenin's voltage 5.59 with an angle 26.56 degree divided by the load impedance is 5 plus the equivalent impedance is 2.5 plus J 6.25. So here we can directly add these two values. So here 7.5 plus J 6.25. Okay. So here we are going to perform division. The numerator is in polar form. The denominator is in rectangular form. So for division we have to convert this rectangular into polar form. So here again we can do the same procedure for converting rectangular to polar and we can get the value as 9.76 with an angle 39.81 degree. Then we can simply divide these two values. We can get the answer as 0 0.573. So for angle we can simply subtract this denominator from the numerator. So 26.56 minus 39.81 the answer is minus 13.25 degree. So this is the load current value. Its unit is ampere. Do you all understand this one?